Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial on Gradebook for Google Sheets and Classroom. Let's get started. You can install the app from the G Suite Marketplace. The link is in the description. Just click the blue Install button and continue. Make sure that you have the correct G Suite account that you want to use Gradebook with. Allow and accept the permissions which can be found on our privacy policies here. Click Allow, and it should be installed. To access Gradebook, you can open up any Google Sheets. So we just created a new one here. And you access from the Add-ons menu. There it is, Gradebook for Google Sheets in Classroom. And the first thing I want to do is create our very first Gradebook. Our first install may ask you to just verify the correct account and allow. And a menu item should appear asking us to enter the details of our gradebook. So there are a couple types that you can choose from, standard weighting, category, total points, or all three of those with terms or semesters. We will choose a category-based one. Let's include some sample students to see how everything works. We can reduce the number of assignments. This we'll just call a demo class. And you can enter other information such as the course code, course period, your teacher name, school name, and school phone. We also have an attendance worksheet that if you wanted to include. For this demo, we will say no. Then click the Create Course button and Gradebook will work in the background to create your Gradebook with all of the information that you have entered. And there it is. New course is ready, Gradebook, our demo class, and here it is. You can see it's already pre-populated with some sample students, um, some sample evaluations over here, but just quickly to show you how it works, uh, you would type in the student name. Okay, we'll give them a student number of four. Oh, sorry. This will come up. Just a reminder that you want to set your categories because this is a categories based gradebook over here. Make sure that they do add up to 100%. So in this one, we have quizzes 15, test 30, assignments 25, and exam 30. But you can change all these values and the names to anything you want. But just make sure that the percentages do add up to 100%. So back to Gradebook at the bottom here, you can see the tabs, Gradebook there. Um, sample evaluation 1 is out of 10. We will give this student an 8. And we'll see the 80%. Their average is 80%. Uh, for this one, we will give them, say, a 15. And it calculates their final average here. To enter a new assignment, you can just put it here, sample evaluation number three, oh, sorry, three. Uh, we will pick a date today. We will make this one out of 10. This weight is not the category weight. It is the weight of the assignment within the category. So let's say we want this to be a quiz. And within the quizzes category, we will give it a weight of 10. And there you go, the evaluation is set up and you could just enter marks for the students. We'll say 10, 9, 8, and 7. And you can notice that their marks are updated. So from here, you can manually enter all your student information, but you can also import from Google Classroom. And this is a cool feature. So all of this information upon import is going to get erased and it's gonna be updated with the Google Classroom information. So we go to our add-ons menu, Gradebook for Google Sheets and Classroom. Uh, sometimes this will appear on first use, just go to access full menu. And now the full menu comes up and we have tons of options. So the one that we want is import from Google Classroom. And when we do this, a sidebar will open up and you will pick your class. So here I have two classes. We'll take the first class. Uh, notice that when you import from Google Classroom, 
the mark in Google Classroom takes precedence and it will override any marks that you manually enter in Gradebook. Um, however, if you want to add an assignment in Gradebook that is not part of Classroom, you can do that and it will not be overwritten on Next Import. But let's update our grades here. So all of this information here, because this was just sample data, it will get um, removed and updated with all our students from the Google Classroom and all the evaluations and marks and everything from Google Classroom. So while it's doing that, uh, we can look here on your Google Classroom. So we have some student work here. We've entered their marks, their assignments are, have come in, and Gradebook has now completed the import. Notice that we have all the students that are in Google Classroom over here. They automatically came in. All the assignments that are in Google Classroom, we'll close this, are now here. So assignment one, two, three, and four. Notice that a mark has already been calculated for them based on the total marks which were entered in Google Classroom. But also notice that weights and categories were automatically imported. So how is that done? So when you go to an assignment in Google Classroom, go to the Instructions tab and notice when we go Edit, we have a special code here. Okay, so you can put the instructions, so student instructions, or the ins assignment, but anywhere in this instruction section, you would enter a special code, and it looks like this. It looks like double brackets on both ends. The first one here would be the category, and the second one would be the weight. So this is telling Gradebook that assignment number one belongs in the quizzes category, and we are giving it a weight of one. If we didn't have a categories gradebook, say a standard weighting, we would just ignore the category and we would use something like this. So it just tells us that this assignment has a weight of one. But because we have a category one, there we go. So now gradebook took all the information from Google Classroom. Not only did it import all of the marks, but also um, the weights and the, the total marks and the category that it belongs to. So what can we do with this? We can also ignore assignments. Here's another special code that you can use. Ungraded. So if you put this into the instruction section of Google Classroom, um, it will actually not import this assignment. So let's say it's not for marks, you don't want Gradebook to see it just put this special code here. So now upon next import, assignment one will actually be removed. So import from Google Classroom. Notice the class will automatically appear now because we selected it and go to update grades and we can see what's going on here. Okay, so again, back to Google Classroom while that's happening. Uh, just in the instruction section, you can put these special codes so that it will now calculate the final grade, the weighting, and the category. So it's just finishing up here. Let's keep an eye on assignment number one where we put ungraded. And let's see what happens here. There you go. It is gone. So we can close that. We have assignment two, three, four. The marks have been updated. Um, and everything is here. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use Gradebook and how to import from Google Classroom with some special codes. In the description of this video we also have a link to our user guide which has information on all the other features that are included in Gradebook. Thank you for watching.